Afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another well, episode. Well, what if they're watching in the morning? Then what are you gonna say? Welcome to another. <laughs> welcome to another episode. Welcome to another episode of Cooper's Amputee Lifestyle, and here I have Sam Sam the Adventure Man. Uh, we plan on doing another dive together, and today we are going to help clean up the dock. There's a lot of garbage in there, and we're gonna help clean up. So we're spending our time diving today to make the environment a better place. So a lot of people like to come down here, go fishing, swim in, launch the boat, whatever. We're gonna remove those hazards from the water. So we're giving back to the community and what a great day to do it. Today is December 3rd, International People with Disabilities Day. So I'm a person with disability and I'm doing a shout out to everybody who's got a disability. It doesn't matter what kind of disability it is. I'm out here doing what I love to do, diving and I'm giving back to the community. And if I can do it, you can do it too. And you don't have to be a diver, you can just love going golfing or love you know, uh, volunteering with some function. So anyways, give back, that's what I'm doing. I wanna motivate and inspire you guys to give back too. So hopefully we find something cool out there. What do you think, Sam? Yes, I'm excited. So this is actually the first place that I've ever seen, or seen, let me rephrase it, first place I've seen a fish underwater. I was a little kid, there's a swimming area over there. It's not too far. That's the first place I remember putting on a pair of goggles and seeing a fish. So I'm really excited to get in this place. This area is kind of special to me, so I'm happy to be here to clean it up and yep. you know just, just make it better. So I'm I'm happy. Yep. I, I think we should jump in the water. Yep. Let's get, let's get I've never it. been here before. I'm excited. So this will be my first time diving into this lake. But you know, if it means a lot to him, I'm gonna come and help him clean it up. <laughs> yeah. So we'll see you out there. Hey Corey, dude, you got your camera going? Yes. <laughs> we didn't even get in the water yet. Check this out. <laughs> this is serious. This is real. This really just happened. Oh, What'd you get? We already found one. Are you on a phone? Turned off. T turned on. Oh shit! It's so running. So, so today's uh, mission, <clears throat> after we're done, is to try to figure out who the heck this is. It says if found. Well, there's a number. It says if found, call this number. You want me to get my phone out and call right now? Uh, yeah. It'd be funny if this phone starts ringing. If it's his own number. Yeah. Hello. Hey, uh, my name is Sam and I'm a scuba diver. Uh, and we're actually here at American Lake today doing a cleanup. And we found a blue phone. And on the blue phone, there's a picture of a little puppy. And it says, if found. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it says, yeah. If, if found to call you guys. So I am calling you. Yeah, it says my husband's phone. What? And he is out at American Lake. Uh -huh. He's, um, there should be a, at the parking lot there for the boat launch. Yeah. A, a ram truck. Yeah. Sam, I can't even see inside. I'm six feet too short, but. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. So, I yeah. really appreciate it. Thank you very much for calling. <laughs> yeah, no problem. You take care. Uh huh. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, we found your, found your phone. Just threw it in the back of your cab. Where was it? right here just uh looks like you ran it over too but i mean it was good enough for i could get a hold of you it was thanks you can run but you can't hide no problem Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey everybody, Sam and I just got done uh, cleaning up American Lake and I finally just got home, it's dark outside. We ended up pulling out about 40 pounds of trash. Um, yeah, it's a little bit was waterlogged and stuff, but yeah, that's a lot of trash we pulled out of that lake. It was, it was great to help clean up uh, the area of the lake right there. So uh, the dive was good and uh, visibility was decent. It was cold, it was dark. There's little fish, you know, swimming in the rocks and stuff like that, really cool. Um, but when we were bagging up the garbage, I found, I saw this bottle that I ended up throwing in the bag, just like all the other bottles and I had a bunch of sand in it. So I was dumping the sand out so it wasn't so heavy and we threw it in the bag and I had a crawdad pop out of it. So I put the crawdad back in the lake so it can swim off. But I noticed so I was looking closer at the bottle. It has something embossed on it and it says Dr. Pepper. And I'm like, oh, cool. It's a, a vintage Dr. Pepper bottle. And um, I'm looking at it and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to take this home and clean it. So I scrubbed the outside of it and I bristled the inside of it with the bristle brush and everything. Got it cleaned up uh, pretty good. Uh, usually if you want them spotless, you soak them in vinegar for a month or two. But uh, you know what I want to do is I, I noticed the, the fans that are supporting me and I want to say thank you and I really appreciate your support supporting Sam's channel and supporting my channel. I want to get back to the fans. So my display cases for all my vintage bottles that I've found diving um, are full, but I want to give one of the fans this vintage Dr. Pepper bottle. So the first person that wants to comment on this bot this uh, video that you want this bottle, um, I'll get with you, I'll we'll private message, and um, I will mail you this bottle because I want to give back to my fans. So uh, just private message the first person that says, I want this bottle, I'll get with you, and we'll send back this bottle. So thank you again for supporting me, and thank you again for supporting Sam, and we'll see you on the next dive. Thanks.